Welcome back to Big Brother. The nine evicted house guests have the final say on the final two. On Tuesday, all nine of them asked Nicole and Will one question apiece to determine how they might vote. Nicole and Will then made one final appeal for votes. The evicted house guests could see Nicole and Will, but Will and Nicole could not see them. They could only hear their questions. Greetings, house guests. The real power is up for grabs. <laughs> Nicole, I want you to convince me why you should be the winner of Big Brother 2. I've done my very best uh, to treat people well, um, work hard, and um, be as considerate as possible and as truthful as I was allowed to be um, to stay in the game. I was more truthful than him. <sighs> Okay, Will. I, I don't really have a great argument here. Um, you know, if I was watching the show, if I was a, an evicted house guest, I don't really know if I would want to keep myself. Um, I will say that I came in the house to lie, I came in the house to mix things up, and I did exactly that. What qualifies you to judge other people? You know, it's not just one thing that allows me to be so judgmental. Um, you know, I, I take it on all my life experiences that I've had. Hi, Nicole. Who have you actually been loyal to? Um, I was truly loyal as much as I could be to you. I was loyal to Bunky. I was definitely um, loyal to Hardy. Nicole, do you feel that Chilltown was more evil than yourself? I, I, don't, I don't know when I was evil. It's your bijou. Hey, baby. Where do you see yourself in six months? Um, six months from now, I hope we're, uh, you know, painting the master bedroom at a, at a cute little beach house. Oh, he's the master. <laughs> he's, good. he's good. If you were to win the money, would you finance Two Hype's first video? I have 100% financial backing of Two Hype. Okay, Nicole, I've been trying to make that fried rice dish, and I'm wondering if I could get the recipe right now, please. You know what, Boogie? I'm going to have to come and make it and show you. Are you ashamed of some of the things that you did in the house? Throwing the HOH um, because I didn't want to nominate you. I didn't have it in me to nominate you. All I can do is say I'm sorry. I heard you in the diary room after I was evicted say, hey, Ken's the only one that has this whole thing figured out. We sat in these chairs when we were both nominated and you stood up and you said, that everyone wanted Will to be in the final against them. And at the time, people scoffed at it. You know, they were like, that's ridiculous. We want Will out. He's part of Chilltown. But um, I knew you knew exactly what was happening. Hi, Will. In the diary room, you yes. mentioned that you threw the head of household competitions, which resulted in me, Shannon, and Boogie's eviction. I hold myself fully responsible for the eviction of you, um, Shannon, and Boogie. And that's always going to weigh on my mind. Um, I did, however, come into the house with a specific strategy, and that was to lose every competition. And that's exactly what I did. Hi, Nicole. What God do you believe in, or if you do believe in God? I believe in um, uh, making your own destiny. And, you know, I do believe that there is a higher power, which is um, your soul. Okay, well, thank you very much, Nicole. Nicole, I have a question for you. Um, your original plan was for you and Hardy to be sitting there, and obviously that didn't happen. But let's just imagine that that strategy worked, and Hardy is sitting next to you. Tell me why, Nicole, I should vote for you to win the half a million dollars, and why Hardy doesn't deserve the half a million dollars. When uh, you left the house and when Hardy left the house, um, a lot of my hopes and dreams came crashing down. Um, so uh, I believe that if Hardy was sitting here with me, ugh, um, that I would have felt like I already won, no matter what place I took. <laughs> Will, if you win the half a million dollars, uh -huh. what percentage of the money will you give to charities and what charities? You know, Bunky, I don't want to mislead you. Percentage of money that's going to go to charities, I'm looking at none. I wanted to know why you felt that I personally should choose you to win the half a million dollars over Nicole. You shouldn't. You're not going to choose me. I don't think that's any secret. Thank you for your honest answer, first and foremost, Will, and don't sell yourself short. You and Will had a conversation um, 
regarding, he asked you what you think he should do. And you brought up Shannon's name and said, what would Shannon want you to do? Very interesting. And uh, I just wanna, I want you to tell me how you what? feel about turning your back on me and, and doing things to unduly influence his vote, as I told you that I would not do to you. I never said that I did tell Will maybe I should be the one to go after that. I said, maybe I should be the one to go. Hardy maybe should be the one to stay in this game. You know, and Will was like, well, that's not what the way I want it to go down, blah, blah, blah. If you're not gonna play, blah, 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 this and that. That's why I came in and I told you the conversation as I always did and told you truthfully what was said and how it could have sounded misconstrued. Hey, I just wanna know one thing, darling. Mm -hmm. When Jeff sent you your banner and said, Nicole, love you, get well out, Promise me. It said, stay in and torment Will. The reason that Will is sitting here next to me and not you is because I made a promise to my husband. If you go into the finals, pull the person into the finals with you that, that you have a chance against. In the beginning, you called me stupid. Do you still think I'm stupid? I'm not gonna pretend at the beginning we got along because we didn't, but at the end, uh, you really proved yourself. Uh, and in my mind, you know, I have nothing but wonderful things to say about you, Manu. All I have to say is, when I came in here, my strategy was to be myself. And the first week, that got absolutely squashed to pieces, as we all well know, um, and it turned into a war after that. I tried to uh, be as truthful and honest while keeping myself in the game with everyone as I could be. I made some poor decisions. I don't feel I'm the only person in this house that made some poor decisions. I'm willing to admit that. Um, and, you know, I'm only human, and it's stupid, dumb luck that I'm here, so I learned a lot from every single one of you, um, and I learned a lot from the entire experience of being in here, and uh, I just want to go home and see my husband. Um, okay, evicted house guest. I can stand before you today, and I can talk about apologies, I can talk about remorse, I can talk about regret, um, but there's two reasons I'm not going to. One, I think at this point it'd be ingenuine, and two, that's just not me. I know some people out there are not happy with the way this show went down, and they blame that on me. But the simple fact of the matter is, if you're not happy with this show, maybe you're not happy with reality-based TV in general. If you're not happy with reality-based TV, maybe you're not happy with, with, as the name suggests, reality. So if you're not happy with me, it just might be yourself you're not happy with. So don't place all the blame of this on me. Everyone needs to look within themselves. When we came in this house that first night, it was all smiles. Everyone held up a glass, we put some champagne in it, and we had a toast for the establishment of friendship on a firmer and more lasting basis. Did you all do that? Look around the room. You all need to learn to love each other, and we need to all get along a lot better. On that note, I bid you a fond farewell, and I look forward to seeing you all very soon.